Hey guys, Jim here. You might recall a certain knife review that I did recently, uh, which has become, I think at this point now, my most talked about review because, well, I was pissed. I went on a rant and Tony Marfion probably has a hit squad out after me, but, you know, listen, when you screw up that badly, uh, somebody needs to call you on it. Reason why I'm doing this follow-up video is because now the knife has been made perfect. Uh, when I sent my Tannic back to Jeff, back to Tough Thumbs, uh, to get, you know, that extra uh, steel lock bar insert modified and do all the other little things that he did, I said, hey, I don't really trust anybody else with this, but uh, did you see my review on the Microtech DOC? He's like, yeah, boy, you hated that thing, didn't you? I said, yeah, I love the knife. The knife is incredible. The whole thing is awesome, except for the damn pocket clip, which uh, now officially carries the name, the fuck you clip. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you really need to watch my initial review that I did on this about a week, week and a half ago. And you'll understand and you'll hear the wonderful analogy that I had to use in order to describe just how offensive that clip was. Basically, if you held the knife like this, it was manageable. But once you choked up on it and held it, the clip was digging so badly into your hand, it was ridiculous. So, Jeff took it, pressed it in his press for, uh, I don't know how long, for a minute or two, flattened it way down, cut off the excess, cut off the corners, rounded everything, and now I have a more manageable, low-profile clip that doesn't get in the way at all. It's actually a comfortable knife to hold now. And that was my only real gripe. Now, it's something that I'm gonna carry, that I'm gonna use. Let's give it a nice good squeeze. Can barely tell it was even in my hand. That's what I like. Now it feels like 95% of all the other pocket clips I have on all my other knives in my collection. That's the way it should have been done. Tony, take notes, get these friggin' knives back, get them from your dealers, press this damn duck bill down, or duck tail actually, cut off those stupid corners, and I guarantee you, you're going to get more sales, because I can't count the amount of people I've talked to that have avoided the knife because of the clip, and how many people I've heard from that bought the knife and immediately sold it because they couldn't stand holding their friggin' knife. The other thing that uh, Jeff did, uh, he kind of played with the pivot a little bit and added a little bit of nano oil, and now it flips even better. It was already a good flipper, but now it's just rocking. Very, very happy with it overall. Now it's something I'm going to use a lot. Now it's something I'm going to carry and have a shitload of fun with. And I do want to make a quick mention for those that thought I may have been a bit harsh on on Tony in the uh, the original review. Listen, I'm a fan of Tony's work and I think he is probably one of the most talented and gifted knife makers in the industry. And all of the sagas aside with the 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 bullshit with the matrix and the zero tolerance triple seven and all the the controversies that he seems to find himself in, he's a damn good knife maker. He's a damn good designer knows how to put a wicked scary edge on his blades. Even his lesser expensive production knives come out like this. Lesser expensive production knife comes out super sharp. He's got great eye for design. He's innovative. He does really, really cool stuff. And when you get into his customs, I mean, seriously, they're, they're some of the best. His hand polishing. Guys, go talk to some custom knife makers. The majority of them will refuse to do a mirror polish on their blades. And the ones that will do it, they don't come out flawless. You pick up any of Tony's hand-polished blades, and they're truly mirrored. There's no waviness. There's no inconsistencies. They're just done perfect. So the guy really is very, very talented. I don't want to take any of that away from him. Uh, and from what I understand, I've talked to a few people that know him or have met him and said he was a genuinely super awesome, nice guy. So I don't want to come off as sounding as if I may have been overly critical of him. But listen, the clip was freaking stupid. 
And at some point, he had to have put it in his hand. And he had to have felt that for himself. And for that to have left his factory by probably the thousands is insulting the, to the consumer, especially at this price point, over $300. You expect to get something that's damn well perfect. So anyway, I'm going to end it with that. I want to make this uh, short and sweet for a change, get this upload time cut down a little bit. But I did want to let people know that may have been on the fence about this knife. If that was your one and only reason, listen, if you hate the look of the knife and everything else, then you weren't going to buy it anyway. But if the only thing was that was holding you up were all of us talking about how much we hated the stupid ass fuck you clip, now you know it's very easily taken care of. I don't know if Jeff will do it for people anymore or not. He's really not doing any pimping or anything anymore. He's really into the, uh, the full-time knife making now. But you can find a, a zillion people that have a press and that have a way after pressing it and flattening it to, to remove the edges and round it off. Guys like Alexander Dietz and Bauer Blade Works, people like that. That's what I would do. Do that. If you could do it yourself, then do it yourself. But once that was taken care of, holy shit, this is, it's an awesome knife. And you're going to find a lot of uses for it. And it's still a, that cool, gadgety thing that Microtech does so well. Great design. Great feel now. Nice and sharp. Cool knife all the way around. Grab one if you can. Just modify your clip, man. That's all you got to do. All right, guys. I'm out of here for right now. I'll talk to you soon.